Hi everyone, welcome back to Java One for All. And in this video, we are going to talk about how we can download something that will make our life way easier than uh, it was in the previous video. So developing something is quite difficult by itself. There are several things that you have to think at the same time, and you do not want to worry about, for example, if you forgot the semicolon, if the name of the file is different from the, the, the class name, and other small things. So what we'd like to do is kind of have something that will make your life easier and let you focus on what is important, that is developing code. So we have the IDEs that do that job for us. And thanks God, there are some people that cares about that. And we developers have our life uh, pretty easy nowadays. So there are different types of uh, IDEs out there. The most famous ones are Eclipse and IntelliJ. Uh, we can say that NetBeans is also one, but uh, it has been a really long time since I saw someone using that one. What's the difference between IDEs? Honestly, some of them, like Eclipse and NetBeans, they are free, and some of them are not, like IntelliJ, and we also have another one, Spring 2 uh, Suite. But uh, I think it's a matter of preference. Of course, each one of these uh, IDEs, they will give you some functionalities, they will give you some plugins, and uh, it, it, is, it depends on what you as a developer would like to have. So in my company, we use IntelliJ. In my previous company, we also used IntelliJ. Uh, I know several people, several developers, they also use IntelliJ. And I think it's today is one of the strongest uh, IDEs out there. And fortunately for us, they have a free version that we can fully use in this training. So you can uh, search for IntelliJ. So just checking the price, uh, depending where you are, uh, I'm not in Brazil, I'm in the Netherlands, I would have to pay for individual use uh, monthly uh, 14 to 15 euros. Uh, there are several different ways where you can get the ultimate version by, uh, for free. If you can go to the special offers, you will see everything that is uh, available for students, for classroom assistants, for universities, startups, for Java champions, and so on. You don't have to um, worry right now about the ultimate version. If you want uh, to just download and check it out, it offers you, uh, if I'm not wrong, 30 days for free. But we are going to use the community version that's free and open source uh, throughout this uh, training. So how can we download? Just go over tools. They have several. Search for IntelliJ and click download. Left side, it is the ultimate version, free 30 days trial. The right side, the free one. So just pick whatever your operating system is and just click download. So I just downloaded recently, but I will do that again. And uh, while we are downloading, I would like to tell you something uh, important. When you go into a company and you start working, if it is a good company, they will not worry about what kind of ID you are using. Because what matters is the source code. So if you're using IntelliJ or if you're using Eclipse, honestly, it doesn't matter because when you check out, when you send that code to, to a repo, you're not sending the, the anything that it, it's part of the IDE. So if your code is tightly uh, coupled to your IDE, something is wrong. So honestly, most companies, they do not worry, but good companies will offer you uh, licenses uh, if they're using IntelliJ for free. So it's up to, to what you are going to, the company you are going to work with. Now, when you download, just click over it. Uh, it may take a while to open. It's basically just next, select the place where you are going to install. I will just install in the default location. Um, even if it's not empty. Yeah, it's because I have something there. So we can come here or if you have any other community edition, I would just delete this guy. So JetBrains. I have installed the ultimate version I use for work. And it's funny because I cannot. Let me just double check here. 
Okay. So I am going to install again. Click over next, next. Uh, I'm going to choose 64 bit launcher. And then if you want to create associations, this means that if you have a source code like a file.java, when you double click it, it will open on IntelliJ. It's not the fastest ID, that's why I don't select this one. Um, install. So that is a new, well, relatively new ID out there. It's called Visual Studio Code. Uh, it's completely free. They have some extensions for Java. If you want to check out, uh, most people use that for uh, front-end development, but I have seen some people using it for, for Java. But from my own experience, uh, I think there is no better uh, ID than IntelliJ. That's my own opinion. Uh, it's pretty amazing the, the, the things that they are putting out there and that's uh, on daily basis if you are working a complex project it helps you like immensely so when the download uh, the installation finishes you will see that there are some steps that we can follow and install some plugins I think there is only one that we will install so just click over uh, run and then finish and then do not import any settings I will go with light because it's uh, better for you guys to see and then you click over uh, next default plugins and uh, we'll keep everything the same I won't do any changes next and then from here that is this one that's pretty cool uh, key promoter good developers they use shortcuts as much as possible so if you think about how many times you have to go over your window to execute something I'm using a 34 inch uh, widescreen monitor and so if I want to close something I have to go all over the 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 right top right to close it so in the end it takes some time so learning how to use shortcuts is pretty useful and this key promoter every time you click over an icon or an action that has a shortcut it will pop up a message it can get pretty annoying but uh, the, the goal here is to teach you that you can use a shortcut for that so I would just install and then start using so I think uh, we can update all the plugins uh, Kotlin just update and it will ask to restart the ID and I think that's enough for one class so in the next video we are going to create a new project so see you there bye